today's video we'll see how to animate an ambient sound using the level sequence built in Unreal 4. Before moving on we need to set our scene with an ambient sound. In my case I decided to use a sound cue with this looping audio file. Then you can move over cinematics and click on add level sequence. Now we can choose where we want to save our new uh, sequence. I think I'm gonna save it in my audio file and I'm gonna name it test sequence. This is the timeline for the level sequence where we need to create a sort of reference to the ambient sound. To do so we select from the viewport the ambient sound, we move over the sequencer, right click Add actor to sequence and here you'll find your selected ambient sound. Now we need to create a track. We can press the plus icon here. And since we want to move our sound source, select transform. Once you have loaded your transform track, select the settings we want to tweak. As you can see here, the timeline has a cursor which allows you to move through uh, the entire length of the timeline. And you have two markers, the green one which is for the beginning and the other one, the red one, for the end. Of course you can move these markers to uh, adjust the length of your timeline. If you want to move to the very beginning of the timeline or the end of it, you can use either the cursor or you can simply use these two buttons, which are to front and to end. Now let's move to the beginning of the timeline and set our first keyframe. We can set it to the very left of my scene and we click in the add a new key. Since I want the timeline to loop, I'm going to move the cursor to the very end of the timeline and apply the same keyframe to the end of it. Then you can define a middle position, let's say 75, and here we want the sound sort to be at the very right of our scene. If you move your cursor now you'll see that the ambient sound is moving. If you want your timeline to loop, make sure that loop playback is set to true. Let's toggle play and jump in the game. Now the last thing we need to do is to create a reference for our timeline inside Blueprint. So we can toggle our uh, sequence on and off depending on game conditions. What we can do is uh, create, let's say, a trigger box. And create a reference for it in the timeline. Now we need to select our sequence, move once again in the blueprint, right click create a reference to test sequence or your sequence. Then we can connect it to a play looping. And here by in parentheses you should see sequence player. If you set num loops to minus one it will loop indefinitely. But if you want to play the timeline just once you can use a simple play function. I can show it to you. Here it is. 